All right, so you're going to ask yourself, when you get your gear, or you find something that you want to use for uh, catfishing, which is more likely going to be bait casters, a big pole, okay? Once you get there, you've already learned the Carolina rig, you've learned the Santee rig, you've watched the YouTube videos on it, you've found your way to the basics of catfishing, okay? Then you're going to ask yourself, what kind of bait do I use? Okay, well, in certain different areas, like I've already showed you, Okay, we have worms for early in the season, you know, when it's still cold out, and late in the season when it's still cold out. Well, when the water gets warmer, those fish aren't really so much feeding on the worms that come out of the substrate or during rains or whatever. The fish are feeding on other fish. So there are a few different types of bait that I like to use. I can use bluegill, okay? I can use whole gizzard shad or cut gizzard shad. Whole gizzard shad, I mainly use for larger catfish, and I'm trying to catch, um, you know... In the bluegills, what I'll do is I'll catch a small bluegill and I'll hook it somewhere, you know, around the tail and just let the fish swim around while it's sitting there on the either Carolina rig or Santee rig. I typically use the Santee rig for live bait. That way it allows it to come off the bottom, swim around a little bit. Works out pretty well. I've actually caught some really big catfish that way. So we're talking gizzard shed late in the season, which is what we're coming up into, or like mid-season. Bluegill, gizzard shed. And you could use chubs. Chubs work really well. So, bluegill, gizzard shad, and chubs. Hook them on there, throw them out, catching big fish all day long. So we're here. Okay, we have the poles. We've learned the rigs. We learned the baits. We've learned how to apply those baits. Okay. Now the knots. Okay. Well... I have three major knots for that as well. We have the polymer knot, okay? YouTube it, watch it, practice it. Get yourself out your fishing pole and tie these knots over and over and over again to the same hook and just keep cutting it until you know it by heart. So polymer knot, the snell knot, okay? That's good for you, your circle hooks, which is what you're gonna be using. I typically only use circle hooks with catfishing. Okay, that's the only hook that I use. So. You'll learn how to tie that snail knot on, and it's really good. It adds tension, allows the hook to actually bend in when there's pressure on it, so the fish technically hooks himself before you even know they're on, which is great. Okay, polymer and snail. And then lastly, the loop knot. The loop knot is like a regular knot, except you leave maybe an inch or two. It's like a loop where the, the hook can actually move around within the knot. Okay, so... YouTube these, practice these. Snell, polymer, and loop knot. Do you eat?